So yeah, I just thought I'd come out and uh, shoot some street photography in this wonderful um, underbridge pasta we call it. So yeah, I've been here. Apologies for the wind if you can, if it's picking it up. But yeah, it's quite spooky in here really. Look, now I'm out in the dark, you can't see a thing. But if I just turn it round, get back into the light of it, well, that's quite a nice lighting. So yeah, I've just, I live about five minutes away from here and I just thought, I walk the dog here every so often. There's always some great photography spots that I think of. And they've put these this light strip down the middle. And they've also, there's some more graffiti since I've last came. So that's cool. But uh, one thing I was hoping for was maybe a few more puddles, which we haven't got. But uh, yeah, check it out. So we've got all this light graffiti. There's my bag down there. And then... Uh, So yeah, let's take some shots. I'm going to start at, I think, 85 mil, actually. Start with the 85 mil. I've got the Sigma 16 mil on here, but I'm going to go to 85, take some shots, uh, do some POV. Let's get on. I hate putting my camera on the floor. Now I'm scratching my lovely Wanda Provoke. So that's what it's made for, eh? So the first shot is actually from just walking down. So the car's parked up over there. The first shot is coming down in this tag, which says Sam's, with this lovely light right underneath it. So I want to try and get just that tag straight in the middle, f1.8. What we'll find is obviously with this camera, with no IBIS, no lens stabilization here either, we're gonna have to shoot everything realistically 1.8 or f1.8 on the aperture because I just don't have a steady enough hand to, see I want that lamp post in the shot really. I have to go further back on the 85. Further back we go. And this is the thing, this is where you really learn the focal length, but now we could be slightly too far. Okay, so that's 1 40th of a second. I quite like that, I've just got it in the shot, but I'm not sure, with me anyway, whether that's gonna be sharp with 1 40th of a second. You know, the thing is, I can't see the button I pressed to zoom in on my monitor because I'm bloody, so far away. What button is it? No, not that button. Is it the FM button? Don't remember the button I have to press to zoom in. I thought it was enter to be honest. Clearly not. Let's carry on. So is there anything else using this light? You know, we can get some real detailed kind of abstract shots. I mean, there's one straight away right down the barrel. Get ourselves nicely in the middle. Low to the ground. Let's have a trouble f focusing on affinity. But if you see that there, I've just used the, the floor there as a leading line to look through with the uh, graffiti either side, just drawing you into the darkness. Not massively much to look at, I guess. But compositional wise, it's not that bad. You know, I've got the idea of the, the lines in from the side drawing you through to a path of darkness. Just the end result's not that great. Now that would be a fantastic shot if that weed wasn't in the way. Just found, I think one of my, uh, that has to be mine off my DJI mic, that's annoying. Can I get this in shot from here? You know, I think in a minute I'm going to be uh, switching out to the Sigma 1.4. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put the one point. Let's put the 16 mil 1.4 on. I didn't bring my um, 18 to 50 f2.8 because of the f2.8 aperture. I just didn't think it would be wide enough to let enough light in without the um, shutter speed dropping too much or the ISO creeping up 
to really high levels, which full frame is okay, etc. But I know these modern cameras, you can go quite high, can't you? I mean, even the A6400's got its limits and I don't like to go above sort of 2000, I guess. So stick the 16 mil on, line the dots up. I'll tell you one thing, there is some eerie noises that come through here. It's not that nice to hear, I'll be honest with you. You look behind you, you think someone's there. It can be very eerie. So let's take some of those shots again, but obviously at 16 mil, and I know for a fact that you know, they'll probably be nicer shots as well, like this one here for a start. Love that. Again, this one here, I can come much closer, you know, lower down. Nice. I actually quite just like the lamppost. Focus right on the light at the top. Yeah, that's nice. It's a nice abstract light leading you up to the top. Again, the, the focus all the way through, I can probably come much closer. You see the difference here, we've got 24 mil full frame equivalent. Before we had about 130 mil full frame equivalent. So the difference is absolutely huge. But here I'm gonna use these leaves as a leading line in. Oh yeah, I like that. That's really nice. So let's try and use some of this lighting. Let's go from the other side. Let's try and get some of this in shot. Now I like that. That's some beautiful, some really nice graffiti in here actually. Just take, you know, and I think a lot of people, sometimes you just got to get the shot. If I don't take the shot, I can't look at it in post and go, is it good, is it bad? Whereas if I just get the shot, I can make the decision afterwards. You know, and that's part of the choices that we make. I do think though, something around the 50 mil would have been absolutely perfect here. You know, I think with the 16, I'm too wide and the 85, I'm too narrow. My F2.8 zoom wouldn't have been good enough. So I think maybe the Sigma 30 mil 1.4 would be would be fantastic for this. And uh, you know which idiot sold it, don't you? Maybe I'll have to buy it again. What else can we see? Let's try and, let's try and use this wall as a leading edge wrap round. See if we can get close up, just get a little bit of wall in. Ah, I don't like that. That's better. Maybe from low down as well. You know, it's all, oh, stinging nettle as well, great. It's all just trying things, isn't it? Trying different techniques, trying different looks, trying to see what you think, see what you feel, and um, and having fun, I guess. I think I've, uh, I think I've pretty much exhausted this spot, apart from this, uh, this symbol, actually. That's quite cool. Focus in the middle of that. You know, with that, obviously made sure to keep it with inside the frames. Maybe a little too much sky there, actually. Let's delete that. Let's have another go. And probably keep a little bit more of the, the sky out of it, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's better. Well, let's head back to the car. What I can do here is I can use, when I open the car, I use the headlights and the tail lights to, uh, to get some shots.